City Search, we are trying to find the best options for your New Year's Eve across the east coast of Australia. Now we are at the home of Future Entertainment, which of course put on the best New Year's Day party. So that's sorted if I can scam some free tickets. But let's have a look at what you could get up to this New Year's Eve. Now, if you are in Queensland, you might want to take the family to Wet and Wild. Now, the rides are going to be happening till about 8.30 and at 5 o'clock, they sneakily push the clocks forward by three hours. So at 9 p.m., the kids can have their midnight celebration and then tuck off home to bed. Cavill Ave is, of course, going to be buzzing. And if you want to hit the clubs, Melba's is doing a glitz and glam night. They're also having a little cocktail party. Tickets for that are $99. And if you missed your prom or it sucked like mine did because your boyfriend left you standing there all by yourself for three hours, you can redo it at the showgrounds. They're having prom night for $149. If you're a Sydney cider, of course the harbour is the place to be. It is going to be lighting up from 9 o'clock and then there are displays all the way through until the big bang at midnight. If you've got a little bit of lazy cash lying around, like say 599 bucks, you can get yourself on the water to watch the whole thing unfold. There are aerial flyovers happening as well. There's a 6 o'clock and an 8 o'clock. If you want to get clubbing and partying on your New Year's Eve, why not? Well, Harborside New Year's Eve has Ian Carey and Pendulum, about 165 a ticket for that one. And then you can head out to the Ivy later on. Dimitri from Paris and Eric Murillo, they're hosting the Ministry of Sound for the third year in a row. You can get yourself some amazing VIP tickets for the rooftop pool party, 300 bucks. Or if you want to stay downstairs, it's only 99. We all know Victoria is the place to be, of course, for New Year's Eve. It can't get any better. Now, the Docklands all the way through to the Yarra are going to be having fireworks happening from 9.15 and then another one at midnight. The whole city is going to light up as well. Alexandra Gardens and Birrarong Ma, that's where all your live and local music is going to be happening. And if you want to hit some doof doofing a little bit later on, I will be with John Course at Fusion, so there's an option for you. Otherwise, you can get yourself to the Moe and Shandon very flashy gold party for 165. So I hope that has helped you with what to get up to this 2011 slash 2012 New Year's Eve. I uh, hope you enjoy your 10987653211. Happy New Year's. Secret TV.